Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. And this is a tutorial on, can you guess, how to make a chainmail quaff. That's right. That's this beautiful thing right here on my shiny bald head. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put this together to make the actual cloth kind of thing of it. But I'm not going to show you how to make actual chainmail, the links to put the, how you put the links together. That's in another tutorial, and I will put the link for that tutorial if you want to know how to do that right here in the video. So you can check that video out. But this is, I'm going to show you how to actually assemble this together correctly so you make a quaff or a headpiece. Uh, nice. um, I want to say a couple things. Thanks for watching my video. If you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, you might want to think about subscribing. I do two new videos every week on a whole wide variety of subjects, dioramas, terrariums, and all kinds of different stuff. How to make a sword like this. So thank you very much. Give me a comment, leave a comment, ideas, what you think about the quaff? Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you. We'll, we will launch into the video, the tutorial on how to make a chainmail quaff. There we go. Do you think they wore glasses in those times? Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, there are three basic parts to making the coif here. I'll get them laid out. There's the skirt, the skull cap, and the chin piece. So the skull cap, which is the hardest part to do, goes like this right on top of your head. And as you're making this, you want to fit it to your head to make sure it's the right size. It'll go right like this. Then the skirt will go around it like this to cover the back and your ears. And it, those are easy enough to stitch together. And then the chin piece will attach to that in the front, like that. Pretty simple. Now, with of four and ones, the large piece, the skirt, is made of four and ones. There's 22 long and six in height there. The small piece is uh, two and a half in height and eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them in length. Four and ones. And if you don't know how to do this four and ones, you know, I do have a tutorial on that. So that's you just make those up. It takes a while. It's hard to do. A lot of work. Not hard to do. It's a lot of work. But you make those up. Make sure you get the pattern horizontal. See that centerpiece there? Just go horizontal. That's the right way to put chain mail on. If the pattern goes up and down, it won't be right. So now the skull cap is the most difficult thing. What we end up doing here is making like a pizza. Six slices of pizza stitched together. And I'll show you how to stitch them together to make the skull cap. It fits on your head very nicely. So... Uh, it's nine rings in length to make a slice. Make a triangle that's nine rings in, 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 in length from the tip of the pyramid to the bottom out of four in ones. And then you assemble your pizza slices together like this. Don't put the ring in the very tip, tip ring. You go one ring down and then attach two of them together with a new ring. Then you'll add another ring one layer down but you add one ring from the left, one from the right, and also string it through the ring you just put in. So from there, after the first ring goes in, every ring actually attaches three rings. And then just continue that pattern all the way down the triangles. See, there's nine, nine rows. And the ring you just put in, the last ring, actually connects through three. Uh, you'll see as you start to do it. And you just do that all the way around, all the way down each, each segment together for the pizza slices. And then when you get to the very bottom, you're going to need to add one last ring to just make the pattern perfect. So you can watch how this goes. And you'll close that ring up and then it's perfect. Everything is correct all the way around. Now you add another slice, add another slice, all six slices until you finish the skull cap. Good to go. Big thumbs up. So you end up with this, your six slices, but you have that big hole in the middle. And I will show you how to um, finish off that hole to, so it's uh, correct and, the, and it's all closed up. You, you take an open ring and you put it through three rings, just like this. One, two, three. Put it in there and close it up. And then you um, add another ring it's three rings, one, two, and three. Now, when you add another ring, capture one of those rings you just uh, you just went through, the third ring, so everything interlocks correctly. And then now there's one, two, three rings. 
that third ring there on the left, when you add the next ring, you put that through that third one too. And you just continue this all the way around until it's all sealed up, and then there's room for one more ring in the very center to kind of hold everything together. And then your piece is done. Now you can touch it up. If it's not big enough for, to fit on your skull, right, almost to your ears, then you can add a whole nother row to it. I ended up adding a whole nother row, and then I added a whole nother um, four in ones all the way around to make it the right size. Easy enough. So just make sure your pattern always stays correct and straight and all the way and in the same direction. There you can do it one ring at a time all the way around. Or you can make a four in ones, a long chain of four in ones and add that all the way around. So that's it. I want to give a special thanks to Sophie. She did most of the work on this chain mail. She did almost all the work. And uh, so thanks out, shout out to her and a thanks. Now if you use the steel like we used, you gotta use pliers to close it up, but it makes for good strong chain mail. So, once we have that pizza pie done, we need to attach the skirt to it. Simple enough, you use your four in one pattern. Put it right up against with uh, the pattern of the both pieces going in the same direction, and then do your typical four in one stitch. You add a new ring, it's going to go through four rings. And you continue that all the way around until it's connected, and that's what you end up with. Now you can stay with just that, or you can add your chin piece, just like this, by connecting it to the side, to each side. And that's that. Your chain mail quaff is done. Congratulations, you're ready for battle. Thanks for watching. If you use steel or you make some chain mail like this, uh, send me a picture. Love to see it. Lots more stuff here on my YouTube channel and my website, stonethecastle.com. Some videos I have here. That's the make chain mail one on the top if you don't know how to make the chain mail. Forge a knife, how to make a cardboard katana. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video.